Frozen sent me their new Sonic Saber. And check it out, it actually looks like a lightsaber cutting through a material. At least it looks like that through a thermal camera. But in reality, this is an ultrasonic knife. So it's basically a craft knife that is vibrating extremely fast. And this allows you to cut through hard objects pretty quick. And this might look like it's just a hot knife, but it's not. All of the heat generated by this is from the friction of the blade vibrating. And seeing that the blade is vibrating over 35,000 times per second, I could see things getting a little warm. And I guess a better Star Wars reference would be a vibroblade. But anyways, the unboxing process of the Sonic Saber is pretty straightforward. It comes with some basic instructions and some cut-resistant gloves. But the actual main event is underneath this piece of foam. And everything looks nicely packed, and honestly, it looks like there's not much really in here. So here's a handpiece, and it's pretty lightweight, but it also feels sturdy in the hand. And under this foam is the actual blade. This is a very sharp razor blade that is replaceable. And don't worry, it comes with a few extras, and if you need more in the future, they're relatively cheap. The handpiece itself is extremely simple with an LED and a single button. And all you really need to do is plug in its power supply. Which of course it has instructions with it which are really straightforward, but it goes over just about everything you would need to know. So let's actually start using this thing. And the first thing I noticed when I turned it on and actually pushed the button is it felt like nothing happened. There was absolutely no noise or vibration from it. So I thought I'd try it out on this little test print that is printed in PLA and it cut into it with no problem. And it pretty much just felt like a hot blade going through this. And when I did pull away, it was a little stringy, and PLA isn't really a high temperature material, so I kind of expected that. This, on the other hand, is a UV resin, so heat shouldn't really affect it. And as you can see, I'm touching the blade to it without turning it on, and nothing's really happening. But as soon as I turn it on, it starts cutting right through it. I can even clean up the area by cutting off the tiniest little bits with this and smoothing it all out, with no effort. And this is definitely one of the use cases and selling points from Frozen themselves. Basically so you can clean up and modify your resin prints. They also show that it's a cleaner and easier way to remove supports versus using clippers or just breaking them off. And this was definitely something I needed to try out. So I tried it out on some resin rings that I printed and it cut through the supports with no problem. And I was able to clean up this ring pretty quick. And you can see from just using this tool, there are no support marks on this anymore. And typically these types of tools are used for high-end model making due to all the precision that is needed for all this. That being said, this is a great tool for automotive use as well. So as an example, let's check out my completely snow-covered Miata. So these come with an optional hardtop. And to properly mount them, you have to cut some holes to fit your striker plates because your stock panel would look something like this. And on the back is this oval that you would need to cut out to fit everything. And this sonic cutter would make quick work of that. And sadly, I've already done this years ago. But I do have some replacement tweeters that I need to retrofit. And all I really need to do is remove some plastic on the back side of this. And the sonic cutter went through this with no problem. And here's a closer look. You can see that it cuts through it like nothing. And it's not melting this plastic at all, so it's leaving behind a nice clean edge. And the plastic I pulled off right after that cut was just warm to the touch. And you're also able to cut other plastics like acrylic or even wood. And it'll even cut all the way through my cutting mat if I push through this. So that's definitely kind of a problem. So overall, this is a great tool for precision cutting, along with being able to clean up and remove supports from resin prints. And being able to cut through things like a hot knife, but be able to touch it directly after without having any molten plastic is going to come in really handy for future projects. So yeah, really cool tool and will come in very handy, but it's also not cheap. This ultrasonic cutter is $260. And surprisingly enough, this is on the cheaper end of ultrasonic cutters. And from what I've seen, the other ones on the market are $400 or more. So obviously this is not a tool for everyone, but if you can find the right use cases for it, it's going to make your life a lot easier. So let me know in the comments what you think, and if you knew about this kind of tool existing before this video. Because everyone I showed it to before making this video had no idea these existed. Well, that's about it, so thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!